please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon hi children we learn to do subtraction of three digit numbers now we will do how to subtract three digit numbers now this time borrowing subtraction with borrowing three digit numbers okay borrow from tens to ones from hundred to tens all right so this time we are doing subtraction Subtraction with borrowing. With borrowing. Subtraction with borrowing three digit numbers. Okay. Three digit numbers. That's what we are going to do now. Subtraction with borrowing three digit numbers. Okay, now I'll put down some sums for you and we'll work it out together. Seven hundred and eighty, seven hundred and twenty four minus three hundred and seventy five, six hundred and twenty three minus two hundred and seventy nine. So we got a whole lot of sums here for us to work it out together. Okay. Now, we have two, four, six, eight sums. And we are doing what? Subtraction with borrowing three digit numbers. How to borrow. Okay. Now, here you have 800, two tens and three ones. Take away 600, 4 tens and 2 ones. Okay. In the ones place we have 3, take away 2. That's easy. There is no borrowing here. Okay. In the first one, 3 ones, take away 2 ones is 1 one. But when it comes to the tens place, you have 2 tens and you have 4 tens. You cannot take away 4 tens. From the two tens because two is smaller than four, therefore we borrow one from the hundred and bring it to the tens. We take away one, borrow one from the hundred and we bring it here to the tens place. So when we borrow the number, we put small and we are bringing that one here. Now, when you bring 1 to the 10th place, we have 12. Now, 12 take away 4. Okay, the small number 2 was small, smaller than 4. This was so we borrowed 1 from 100, brought it to the 10, now 12. When we borrow, cut and write the number correctly there. Now, 12 take away 4 is 8. Very good. And here you have 7. Minus 1 is 700. Minus 600 is 1. Okay. So, always remember, we cannot minus the big number 
from the small number. Now let us look at this. You have here 9 in the 100th place, 2 in the 10th place and 5 in the 1th place minus 7 in the 100th place, 4 in the 10th place and 3 in the 1th place. Now, in and we look at the 1th place, 5 take away 3, easy, 2. 5 take away 3, 5 minus 3 is 2. Again, you have 2 tens which is small and we have 4 tens which is big. So, you cannot take away 4 from 2, we borrow. So, we borrow 1 from the 100 and we bring it here and we get again 12. 12 tens take away a 4 tens, you get very good, 8 tens. Now, we look at here, 800 minus 700. 100. Alright? So, 182. Now, now let us go to the third sum here. 600, 3 tens, 2 ones, take away 300, 9 tens, 4 ones. Now, let us take the ones. In the ones you have 2 ones, which is take away 4 ones. 2 is smaller number than 4 and therefore we have to borrow. You cannot say 4. 2 take away 4. No. The top number should always be bigger than the number you are going to minus. Number you are going to take away. So, now we are going to borrow 1 from the tens place. And so, they have 2 here left. And then we put that 1 small b right. Now, we brought the 1 from the tens place and put it in the 1's place. So, 10 plus 2, 12 we have. 12 take away 4 is 8. Very good. Now again, tens place we have 2 which is smaller than 9. So we cannot minus, we cannot take away. Therefore, we, therefore, we borrow 1 from the 100th place and bring it to the tens place. So when we borrow, we cut and write 1 minus will be 5. And then you have 1, you bring it here, we have 12. 12 take away 9. Is 3, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 take away 9 is 3. Very good. We have 5 in the 100 place. 5 minus 3 is 2. Very carefully we have to do. What are we learning? Subtraction with borrowing 3 digit numbers. Now let's go to the next sum. We have 500, 2 tens, 4 ones. Take away 200, 5, 10, 6, 1. Now, let's look at the ones place. We have 4 minus 6. 4 is smaller than 6. 4 is, the 6 is big. So, the number, big number, we cannot take away from the small number. We have to borrow. When we borrow, we cut. We, yeah, we take 1. And bring it to the ones place. And so we have 14 which is bigger than 6. We have 14 which is bigger than 6. So 14 minus 6. What is 14 minus 6? After 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we have 8. 14 minus 6? 8. Now we have 1 here. And we have to take away 5. Take away 5 tens from 1 ten, which is not possible. So again we borrow from the 100 place. And we bring 1 to the tens place. So we have 11. 11 take away 6. 11 tens take away 5 tens is 6 tens. Alright. 11 take away 5 is 6. Now in the 100 place we have 4. Take away 2. 4 take away 2 is 2. Good. Now let's look at another sum. 825 take away 437. Look at the ones place. We have 5 ones minus 7 ones. The 7 one which is bigger, you cannot minus it from 5. So we are going to borrow from the 10s. So we are going to borrow 10 from the 10s. And if you bring 1 to the 
1 to the 1's place which becomes 15. 1 10 plus 5 1's you get 15 1's take away 7. So 15 1's take away 7. 7 A 9 10 11 12 13 14 15. So you have 8. 15 minus 7, 8. Now we have 1 left in the tens place and we have to minus 3 from 1 which is not possible. So again we borrow. We borrow 1 from the hundreds and bring it to the tens. So we have 11 take away 3. 11 take away 3 is 9. 8. So, 3, 4, 5. Say, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 8. So, 11 take away 3 is 8. In the 100 place, we have 7 left. Minus 4 is 3. Okay. Now, we go to another sum. Here, you have 945 take away 477. Look at the ones place. You have 5 in the ones place minus 7. Again, 7 is bigger than 5. So, we have to borrow. Okay. So, we are going to borrow 1 from the tens place and we add it to the 1. So, 1 10 plus 5 ones, 15 ones take away 7. 15 take away 7 is 8. Now, you have 3 in the tens place, minus 7. 7 is bigger than 3, so we have to borrow, okay. We borrow 1 from the hundred place and we bring it over here. So, we have 13. 13 take away 7. 13 take away 7. After 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 6. 13 take away 7, 6. Now you have 8 in the 100 place, minus 4. 800 minus 400, you get 4. Okay? Now we go to another sum. 724 minus 375. In the ones place, we have 4 minus 5. 5 is bigger than 4, so you have to borrow. So, we borrow 1 from the 1, 1 10 from the 10s and you bring it, add it to the 1. So, 10 plus 4, 14 take away 5. Okay, after 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 9. So you have 9. 14 take away 5 is 9. Now you have 1 in the tens place and there is 7 in the tens place. 1 minus 7 cannot be possible. So we borrow 1 from the hundreds. Okay. Borrow 1 from the hundreds and you bring it over to the tens place and then you get here 11. So you get 11 take away 7. 11 take away 7. 8, 9, 10, 11, 4. 11 take away 7 is 4. Now you have 6 left in the 100 place. 6, 100 take away 300. 300. So 349. Finally, the last sum left. 623 take away 279. Now, in the ones place, 3 minus 9. 3 is smaller than 9. Therefore, we borrow 1 from the tens place and 10 plus 3, that is 13. So now we have 13 minus 9. 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 4. So, 9, 13 take away 9 is 4. Then you have 
1 left in the tens place, 1 minus 7. 7 is bigger than 1, so you borrow 1 from the 100 place. And you add it to the 10. Now, 11 take away 7. What is 11 take away 7? Again, 4. Now, we have 500 minus 200 is good. 300. So, what did we learn today, children? We learned subtraction with borrowing three digit numbers. Subtraction with borrowing three digit numbers.